Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. Keep going. Like, keep going. Don't quit. You're already in pain. You're already struggling. Like, get something for your pain. It doesn't make sense to go through pain and then not get nothing on the other side of it. Once you find out you want, regardless of what it is, and you combine the mind and the body together, that's when life gets exciting, guys. It's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's the perseverance. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick, guys. Never give in to what you want. Start small. Start with changing tomorrow morning, just tomorrow morning, and then move on to the next day and the next and move your life to a better place one little step one little victory at a time we all fall down in life the question is who gets back up you go after and you give it all you have if you lose at least you try man when you guys find a fear that fear will either create you or destroy you i love fear the reason why behind every fear is a person you want to be Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. We have so many doubters. We have so many of those people that say no and you can't do it, it's impossible. But when you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous. Because now what you're basically saying is, is that if my plan doesn't work, I have a fallback plan, I have a plan B. And that means that you start thinking about plan B and yes, every sir. thought that you put into yes, plan sir. B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. See, the thing is for many people, they've tried the same path you're on and they failed. As you walk this journey, you're going to see carcasses all over the place of people that didn't quite have it. That should inspire you because you got further than that person and that person. But you're not looking to get further than them. You're looking to finish. The majority will hate you because your success makes them feel insufficient in their current endeavor. Reminds them of where they could have done it but they came up short and how they didn't revisit it. If you do it though, because it's hard, it's uphill battle. It's a path less taken, not the beaten path that everyone else takes. It's a path that leads a character. The champions, guys. It's not their potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not, you know, a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. Success does not define us, we define the success.